Okay, so today there's a place I found that nobody seems to go to. Some, I was speaking to some locals about it and it looks sick. So I wanted to get a ped and drive here, but it was going to be like a three and a half hour drive on a ped on the motorway. So decided against it and we've rented a car. So it only took like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes in the car. But I'm really excited to go in and show you what it looks like. So wearing no shoes might have been a little bit of a mistake because it's quite sharp and pointy under my feet. So I would probably say wear shoes and just take them off when it starts to get wet because ow, I feel like I'm like walking on mini shards of glass. Um, this is literally the only people that are here. There's just the cafe and then a few Turkish tourists. We're the only foreigners that are here. It's crazy. And the Turkish guys, when he like walked to, well, there's the cafe here. They walk like a few, a couple hundred meters to this bit, you take a picture and then just turn around. But we're gonna walk right in because it's um it's not very pink here and i want to get some pink action so we're gonna see how it gets i feel like it gets a little bit um like it's really dry here that's why it's so sharp but further in i feel like there'll be some like water so marvelous nice and pretty so we walked so far into the salt flats in the main lake and ow it really really hurts my feet wear shoes um and there's just no water at all so it's literally just hard white flat hard white salt everywhere um so we're gonna get back in the car and drive down to the little lake um it's it looked a lot better there when we were driving up and it's like half an hour closer to Cappadocia. So I think that's, I think, ow! <laughs> like, my feet are so much pain. But yeah, I think the little lake is going to be the best bet because this is so dry. I mean, it's beautiful. And like, if you walk down, like you can like walk down there for miles and like have like no mountains or scenery around you. So it'd be like great for pictures. Um, but I think that the small lake is going to be our best bet. <laughs> okay, so this is what my feet look like, which are kind of okay. And this is what it looks like when you wear <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Slop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're here. We just got to the second lake 
and I've put my trainers on this time because my feet just age like 15 years so not not a, um, not a good shout to not wear shoes but it is wet here so I feel like this might be the place that I don't want to wear shoes but I'm going to keep them on for now until we get to where it's wet. Um, it's really really hard to find a good place to turn on the motorway because it's just a miles and miles long stretch of road and there's just no turnings anywhere. So there's two like dirt roads that are on like off the side that you can drive down but they're so hard to spot like you need to like be really aware and be like consciously looking for them um we managed to drive down one and then we've drove onto this like like farmlands <laughs> but we're about to walk in anyway but i'll link below in the comments where i took the turning and where is we're right in the middle of the first lake so this is probably the best turning that we could find and we've spent an hour driving up and down this road so i'll link that below this is gonna be my friend i couldn't bear him <laughs> it's hard to pick them up though Right, what is it? So that's Mycologies. That's the only species that can survive in such a salty environment. I think it's diatomies, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Biologist over here. Biologist. So there you have it, ladies and gents. That's the why it's pink. Only pink species of algae. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome for our science <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Time to get wet. Starting to get to the good stuff. Oh wow, look at this. Yay. Oh. Yeah. Maybe this is the part where you take your shoes off. <laughs> There's supposed to be flamingos that live here as well. But I think they're hiding. I think they're hiding. There's supposed to be flamingo there, but there's no flamingos that I can see. That is so crazy. It literally looks like there's nothing there. How unbelievable is this? So cool. So cool. I'm covered in salt, but it's actually amazing. Like, doesn't that just look like a green screen? When if you just look over here. is this world when you come to Cappadocia look literal literal green screen no editing at all the sun's here as well so it's not even like behind me is where the sun is that's just genuine magic i know some sciencey person is going to comment on this and be like it's not magic but let me have my moment this is magic <laughs> it's just so nice and i can't believe how unheard of it is like all of the people who come to Cappadocia and they have like wedding shoots and like fancy dresses for the balloon rides and stuff this would be a haven you know this would be like so cool for them to like people to come to and have these i mean i did a bucket hat and vest top so i'm not really didn't really make the most of it but how freaking cool so we spent a bit of time here been up to the top one not half as good as this i don't know why this is wet and the big one is dry because i would have thought it was the other way around um it's not like it's even deeper here it's the same amount deep um but yeah definitely stop off at the first one 
It's like an hour and 30 minute drive from Cappadocia. Don't do it on a scooter. It's not worth it. It won't be an hour and 30. It'll be like at least three hours. And I've looked for like hostels and hotels and places to stay around here. There's a few towns, but it's literally in the middle of nowhere and they're absolutely dead and you just can't make it here and back on a motorbike unless you're planning on getting back to Cappadocia at like late, depending on what time you set off. But I'd just be worried in the dark and not a lot of the bikes that you can hire around here can actually manage it up some of the hills we drove up. Um, if you can do it, well done, but if you can get a car, I would definitely get a car. Um, but yeah, hope you like this video and don't forget to comment, subscribe for more.